I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on application of vectors in velocity. The question here is write the velocity vector for a car traveling northeast with the speed of 80 kilometers per hour. So we are given the speed which is 80 kilometers per hour and we are also given the direction which is northeast. I like you to pause the video, answer the question, take it as a test question uh, and provide the solution. Well, let's look into the solution now. Car traveling northeast. So this is north for us, this is east. So when we say northeast, that means that is the direction, correct. So this direction could be given as this direction could be given as you could move one here one up so one one do you see that so northeast is this direction one one to find velocity vector what we are interested in finding to find this velocity vector what should we do now velocity is is uh, speed that is the magnitude of velocity uh, uh, times direction so we said unit vector unit vector direction speed we are just taking the magnitude parts this is a scalar quantity is it okay so, strictly speaking, velocity in vectors will be written as magnitude and direction. So, when we say direction, we are writing like this, where, where this term is basically unit vector. Magnitude is 1. So, the magnitude will not change. 80 times 1 will be 80. That's the whole idea. So what we are given here, actually speaking, is uh, we are given this magnitude as 80. Do you understand? And what do we need to find is, is the unit vector. Correct? So let's do that and then we get the answer. So I hope the concept is clear. Now, so the unit vector for the velocity is actually a uh, direction vector divided by its magnitude. In our case, northeast, this is northeast, means 1, 1 is the direction, divided by square root of 1 square plus 1 square. So which is 1 over square root 2? 1, 1. Correct? I mean, you get it. And therefore, I could write my velocity vector as the magnitude, which is speed, times unit vector, the magnitude is given as 80 kilometers per hour, so it is 80, and then we have 1 over square root 2, 1, 1. So that is the answer. So we can write our answer with units, that is the velocity is, uh, you can write them inside or outside, it doesn't make a difference. If you want to write them inside, it will be 80 over square root 2, 80 over square root 2. Correct? So that becomes the velocity and the units are kilometers per hour. What you should do once you get this is check your answer for the magnitude of velocity. That is, if you do the magnitude, do you really get 80 kilometers per hour? Right? You will and that ensures that you have the right answer. So I hope these steps are clear. So if you are given magnitude and some direction, you find a unit vector in that direction and write down the vector as a combination of scalar multiple, right? So what we have learned here is we have learned concept of scalar multiple of vectors to get the answer. So I hope that's absolutely clear. Feel free to post your questions. Like and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.